What is going on, everybody? This is Slick from Breaking the Clutch. I am here with Nicholas today. Nick, say hello. Hello. And we are going to be going over some basic micro tips. Now, this is going to be uh, the first video in a two-video series. I'm going to go over the basic micro tips in this one, and then advanced stuff later on. So make sure you try out the basic stuff first, and then you can move on to the advanced stuff after you kind of get a hang of it. Some of you guys might be asking, uh, what is micro? So micro itself is actually short for micromanagement. And that's exactly what it sounds like. It's actually during engagements and fights and uh, battles, things like that, inside the game is when you micromanage units to do certain things. So that means, like, say, one unit, squad of units, just to attack certain things, move certain places, do various things. We'll get into various topics um, as we talk about different versions of micromanagement. Okay, guys, so the first topic of micro that we're going to talk about is actually focus firing. Now, focus firing is a pretty simple concept. Um, of course, it takes a little bit of use of your thumbs, you know what I'm saying, wink, wink. And what you have to do is manually select enemy units to have your entire army shoot at one unit at a time. So to begin this first test, before we begin focus firing, what Nick and I are going to do is actually just send our... Uh, we each have 10 groups, uh, sorry, 10 squads of Marines. We're just going to send them a middle map so they engage each other. And we're going to see how long it takes the, uh, or basically what it looks like on either side for the engagement. You'll see that it's pretty even-sided and the Marines are just shooting all over the place. There isn't any, say, uh, uniform attack plan going on. They're just kind of spraying all around. And that's just because that's what the computer AI is, uh, is just uh, programmed to do. So, of course, I am red. I'm walking up here. Of course, there is Nick's army. So, Nick, let's, uh, let's get a little boxing match. As you can see, bullets are kind of flying all over the place. And, of course, look at that. I lose a Marine right away. Nick loses a Marine. Of course, all of these units are fighting this engagement, which is helpful. Um, but as you're going to see, like, say, you know, it's, it's just taking a good amount of time for all these units to die here. Uh, DPS is kind of spread out. DPS is short for damage per second. DPS is kind of spread out all across every unit here, and they're just kind of, you know, like I said, the AI is just having an open frenzy, just shooting at whatever's in front of itself. Look at that. Oh, you got veterancy. That's not fair. Yep. OP. This game's over. OP. Oh, I just got two fucking veterancies, boy. I got three one stars. You're done. Let's call an EMP Mac I got plus. four one stars, dude. Stay alive, you bastard. Oh my god, it's gonna be a close heat. Oh, there we go. That's a W right there. Uh, I've got two veterancy. No, you don't. That's me. One on one. Oh, I'm really? Blue. Oh, shit. We oh, both have veterancy? I, get I don't know. I can't see yours. Nah, never mind. That'd be dope if you could see enemy veterancies. Why couldn't you? Why wouldn't you be able to see that? I don't know. Cause that, that would affect the way you attack. That's OP. OP. Okay, so for this exercise, Nick and I are actually just going to be using rabbits so that we can prove that you can do this with uh, other units as well. And what we're going to be doing is Nick is going to drive his army into the middle, and he's not going to focus fire, and I'm going to focus fire his rabbits with my army. Now we're going to see what the difference is in army size when we come out. As you remember, when the Marines just kind of went head-to-head -head with a uh, move command, uh, I did only have two come out of that fight, and they were both basically one shot. So we'll see what the difference is here when I uh, focus fire with rabbits. To the middle. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to hit X on one here. Actually, just gonna keep going. See, look at that. There's two drop, three drop. See, my army is actually kind of getting in a better position here. I'm not microing anything crazy right now. I'm just kind of attack commanding all of these. Of course, this is something you can practice in custom games. Of course, that's what Nick and I are doing now. All right. So as you're going to see here, by focus firing, I definitely overpowered and outmassed Nick's army here. Uh, with certain units, this doesn't always work. Say, if you were to go head-on head with Marines, at least. Uh, sometimes, just because they have rapid-fire DPS, they spread across multiple units as well. Uh, you're going to get different results, especially because they can also get veterancy just from killing one Marine out of each squad, as opposed to, say, killing the whole unit dead. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. So focus firing is a concept that you definitely want to do with uh, any unit early game. That's something you want to focus on, pun intended there. So if you come into an early engagement, you know, say pick out the weakest unit and always attack that one first, especially if it's up front in engagements, so that we can drop it as quickly as possible and get a unit DPS out of the way. The next concept that we want to talk about here is actually dancing. Now that concept 
is very also it's also very crucial to early engagements and engagements across the board dancing is basically uh, whenever one of your units gets weak or nearly one shot what you do is you hit x at the back of the line or have a move command at the back of the line so that way that one shot unit in the middle of combat can get out of the way and still have uh, dps and keep attacking throughout the entire engagement it's uh, definitely crucial in like i said all, all aspects of the game, early game, mid game, late game, this is a basic micro concept that you definitely need to have down if you want to get into the Onyx and Champion Leagues. Uh, otherwise, you're really not going to get there uh, just by sending your army's move command style into uh, the engagements. So like I said, say if this rabbit right here were getting near one shot in the engagement, what I'd do is I'd pull out that unit back there, or I could sift a unit up front to deal with that, and then I'd tell him all to uh, attack move command again, so that way he gets back in place. Once again, I'll show you here, I'm going to pull out there, and then I'm going to tell my immediate step that, look at that, see that even fills the void right there. So if I have an engagement over here, this rabbit right here is one shot, I'm going to move him to the back here, and then I'm going to tell all my units to go forward. So we do one shot, pull back, RB twice, all units move forward. Very, very simple concept. It's just a pretty easy way to save your units. And also, if you uh, combo this concept with uh, focus firing at the same time, you're going to absolutely melt armies. And it's uh, very crucial to scouts in general. I like to say, uh, usually when your Marines are getting one shot, you just scoot them to the back and then uh, dance them backwards. Make sure you save them. So here we are. So Nick and I are going to engage. I'm actually going to focus fire right there. See this rabbit right here is getting weak. I'm going to pull him back over here. Okay, he's not going to move. There we go. I'm actually going to pull him back here. See that? See this guy's one shot. I'm going to try to get him out of there. Too late there. You can also try to anticipate which ones are mm -hmm. you know, being focus fired and try to back them up. Yeah, like see this guy's a little weak, so I'm pulling back and I'm going to move all units forward again. Like this guy's one shot, I was too late there to save him. It's definitely something that takes swim. a lot of practice because of yeah. so you really game's wanna, different. Yeah, you definitely want to like say uh, get used to a certain sensitivity as well. Because that's where say selecting units are going to be extremely crucial. Of course, you aren't going to have like a perfect engagement every time. I definitely lost, say, three or four rabbits there in that engagement. But if I wouldn't have done anything, it would have been a very, very different turnout. So that's just something that dancing is, a, once again, a very important concept to have. So this next concept I'm going to show you guys micro-wise is called sniping. So the sniping concept is that you actually use a unit's range uh, for DPS to its advantage. So just for this perfect example, we're going to be using snipers and marines. Time and time again, in all, even in the Onyx League, I see this. I'll see, uh, say, players ball up their units, like, say, Marines and Snipers, into a big ball, and then just walk them into combat, like, oh, yeah, fuck it, let's just go. That is not good at all, because all it takes is, say, a Mac Blast or something like that, and then all of a sudden you're going to lose all of your Snipers. Especially if you're dealing with Marine Grenades, uh, you can most certainly lose those interior units, say, the Sniper stuck in the middle here, very easily. Uh, think of, like, a Decimus Vortex. You can just, you'll lose everything. So the real concept behind it is sending, say, keeping the ranged units um, with their distance. Now, this is going to take a lot of practice because you need to know the unit's range. So what I have here is snipers, so I know they can shoot around this area. So what I do is I have my Marines go into the combat here. And I have the snipers stay way back here so that way they can snipe from afar and do lots of damage. For this first example, what I'm going to do is actually keep all of my units together into a ball and then walk into Nick's 10 Marines. Now we're going to compare it to using this sniping micro concept and see what the difference looks like. All right, Nick, you ready to push? Sure. All right, so I'm just going to move all of my units here in a big ball. This is very cringy to watch. I'm just going to move everything together here. We should still win because we have snipes and Nick doesn't. But see, this is what happens here when I push all of my units here into the middle and we do it like this. So another downside to this is that Nick can actually focus fire my sniper, say if he was just uh, if he was actually playing here. He could focus fire snipers and drop them with ease and it would pretty much make the uh, the fight pretty even. Of course we are not gonna lose yet. Yeah, Nick's actually gonna drop one snipe there just for the example. So just because of that. Right there. So since the Marines do uh, in fact still have range on these snipers, they're just gonna drop and it's just gonna be very one sided. And now we're going to do the same scenario where I do uh, 10 Marines and 3 Snipers, but this time I'm going to be using the Sniping concept. So once again, to reiterate the concept here, what you do essentially is you take your Marines separately from your Snipers, and when you're ready to engage in combat, what you're going to do is actually just going to keep your units spread out like this, and then say you push in that direction. So if I was moving left here, what I'd do is all units and then just walk this way, so my Snipers stay at a distance here, and then I'd manually select them and tell them to stay back when in range. Okay? So let's try this again. So let's say I'm going north here. I'm going to pull my snipers back to this side here. 
Of course, this isn't always doable, so you can't always spread your units that quickly. So what you have to do is select all units and then hit the right trigger twice to bring your snipers back. Oh shit, I didn't lose all my units here. Are you kidding me, Nick? Your turrets suck. What do you want from me? So all units here, and then I hit right trigger twice, and then I can select these units manually and then pull them back at all times. So if I'm trying to move north here, I hit all units, and then what I do is I just move forward here. And I kind of go together, and then that way, oh shit, engagement, I just kind of sit here with my snipes, and they shoot from distance. That way Nick would have to, in order to kill these snipers, he would have to run all the way around my army, get roasted while he's walking by, and then try to get to my snipers. It just, it just wouldn't happen. Might as well just do a couple extra, just to show the effectiveness yeah. of it. Yeah, okay. So Nick, Try 13. So Nick thinks that we should uh, show the effectiveness of this individual play, so what he's going to do instead of matching my marine squads with 10, he's actually going to throw in 13. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. Alright, I'm ready. Okay, so once again guys, what I do here is if I'm going to be pushing the middle here, if I were to do all units, like my units ball up like that and they didn't do anything right, so instead what I'm going to do is hit right trigger twice once I have all units. See at the bottom there I am manually selecting each and individual unit. I'm going to send my snipers to the back, all units again, and send them right up here to the middle of the circle. So here we go. We're going to get in the engagement here. Of course, I, like I said, I need to know the sniper's range. Of course, there I see Nick's unit, so I'm actually just going to move my snipes off to the side here and then start focus firing. By using this concept too, I actually can just let my snipes hang out in the back and just start rinsing all these units with me. I'm just going to focus fire Nick's units here and just keep rinsing all these marines. So I'm going to start getting real fancy here and uh, using the dancing technique as well. Run away! Actually save that marine, that's very important. Dance, no choke. I'm going to try to dance him away. I'm going to drop this marine back too. I'm going to attack this one. I'm going to dance this one backwards. And I'm going to come back. Um, and there you have it. So I didn't lose a single sniper. I lost four marines in that engagement and kept all these one-shot guys alive. And that was using not only focus firing, but it was also using unit dancing, and then it was also using sniping. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy that concept there. Definitely, if you use all these concepts together in similar engagements, it doesn't have to be just with infantry. Like I said, using vehicles. Also, like say the uh, like say locus in your banished army is also a similar idea. Uh, say so you keep the locusts in the far back because they have plenty of range and then you just keep your other units, say hunters, rangers, whatever, and the locusts will rinse them from the distance. So that is the first episode of the basic micro tips. I hope you enjoyed it. Nick is pushing my main base with two condors right now. <laughs> so I am going to uh, attempt to resign here. Actually, I have an idea. Before this game's over, this is a little bonus extra here. I'm going to check this out, guys. Here we go. All right, so this. Just a little closer. Yeah, keep coming. Oh, I didn't want both. That's not what I wanted. Fly away! <laughs> Fly! Can I mac my own units? Oh my I god. I forgot you were Isabel. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Slick and Dick from Breaking the Clutch. I hope you're going to be able to use these tips to uh, advance your play and maybe even your rank in matchmaking. I hope this is also a pretty streamlined and effective teaching mechanism. If you guys want to be, uh, want me to go a little more in-depth with some concepts, please let me know in the comment section below. And also share this around with anybody else who you think might be able to use it and get a little bit better. Nick, any final words to say? Yeah, uh, leave your comments down below if you are struggling with a particular uh, subject when it comes to RTS games, because I know a lot of Halo fans aren't necessarily RTS players. So, um, you know, if you have uh, some suggestions, leave that down below. We'll make a vid on it. Grouping is coming up soon. Friends. That's right. That's Three right. months in the making. That's right. Seven years. Oh, I still have this lone marine right here. This is the marine that will save the galaxy. Stop the rebel scum. The rebel scum. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Slick from Breaking the Clutch, and we'll see you guys next time.